Cremini mushrooms, I love them. They taste so good. And when you mix it up with pasta, with wheat pasta, mm. it makes it even better. It does. This is a brown butter sage and cremini mushroom pasta. They're great flavors together. It's so warm feeling. It's, it is. A quick tip on these beautiful mushrooms when you buy them. A light brown color all the way around. Very, very important. And when you squeeze them, you should have just a little bit of a give, not too much, and free from any cracking whatsoever. Check the stem. Make sure it's attached. Also very important. And the membrane here, nice and full. When you bring them home, Oh, before you bring them home, when you buy them at the market, all mushrooms, brown paper bag, right, Steph? Never store them plastic. That way they could breathe in the refrigerator and last four to five days. So buy them and enjoy them. Now I got the pasta going here. I did. May I serve now? You may serve it. When you, tell me what you've done here. So what we did was we made the brown butter sauce, uh -huh. and we added in the cremini mushrooms, and we let those cook, and then we added the sage. And as I kind of emulsified together, I put in the whole wheat pasta. I like the feeling of whole wheat with this more than a regular white pasta. And just, of course, a touch of that pasta water to really bring out those starches. Oh. And it makes this beautiful cream sauce with everything involved. Would you look at that? Mm -hmm. That is absolutely beautiful. It smells like fall, right? It smells like fall. That's good. <laughs> it does smell like fall. If fall had a smell, that's it. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. Bella.